A few months ago, I wrote a Category D Zwift race every day with the aim of winning a race. I went from finishing last in my first race to continuously podiuming every single race. But unfortunately, I failed to win a race. Since then, I have trained indoor, outdoor, and I even went abroad to go on a training camp in Andorra. I am probably the only person on this planet that went on an altitude camp in preparation of a Zwift race. All I'm trying to say is, with the form I currently have, I should be able to win a Zwift race. So today, I once again take on the same challenge. I'm going to be riding a Zwift race every single day until I win one. Taking a look at my power profile, the rider I am on the breakaway app, I'm basically a sprinter. I simply lack the longer endurance and my weight does hold me back significantly when the road goes uphill. Fortunately, there's quite a few sprint stages available on Zwift. Today's route is around 21 kilometers with four small hills, each 700 meters at 2.9%. My strategy is simple. I need to get in group one, survive the hills and win the sprint. Let's see how it goes. Thing is, with all the training I've done, I'll actually be disappointed if I don't podium here so there's certainly more pressure this time three two one let's go looks like we've got a small peloton today four riders so I've got one chance and four to win the fourth rider in the race is out 27 seconds behind but then this happened Damn it, my camera battery died. Fuck, now I'm 11 seconds behind and I'm dying. I'm losing time. Fuck. So yeah, today's race is completely lost, but I will finish the race. No DNFing today. When I realized the race was lost, I switched to zone two for the rest of the race. And in the end, I did a short sprint. In the end, it wasn't the race we were looking for, but I got a one hour ride in, so I can't complain. Tomorrow's another day. Thing is, I don't mind when I lose a race and it is because I'm not good enough. If I lose a race because I feel like I wasn't able to compete because of something outside of my control, that sucks. Anyway, we have to put this race behind us. This video is sponsored by the Breakaway app, an essential part of my cycling training. When I started my journey, I simply didn't know how to train. How fast should I ride? How long should I ride? Should I do interval training or endurance training? The Breakaway app takes care of that for me, telling me which rides are best to achieve my personal goals. In the Breakaway app, I can track my personal training and my power records and rides. And I can assure you, coming home from a ride, nothing's better than opening up the app and seeing, oh, you broke a power record. Anyway, if you'd like to give the Breakaway app a try, check the link in the description for a one month free trial and 25% off a yearly subscription. Right now, it's only available on iOS, but they are working on an Android version, so don't worry, it's coming. Anyway, back to the video. Let's take a look at tomorrow now. Once again, just over 20 kilometers. It's basically two laps of 10 kilometers, roughly, with rolling hills in the second half of each lap. The key for me is once again, getting over those rolling hills. Let's hope this one goes a bit better. Yesterday, my aim was to podium. Today, I just want to avoid technical difficulties. Let's go. Once again, only four riders in the race, two of which are already dropped. So if we can keep it together, we're fighting for the victory against this guy. I'm suffering in this guy's wheel. Let's hope I can hold on. I was suffering so much on the flat section that I was truly scared of the hills to come. But when those hills arrived, my breakaway companion was actively slowing his tempo on the climbs. He was trying to not go in the red, which is the only reason I got over these hills with him. Still in his wheel, one third into the race. But then one of the harder climbs in the lap arrived. And once again, he seemingly slowed down on the climb, which really helped me. Halfway to Reigns, we're now having our first look at the finish. A downhill run-in towards a flat sprint. My confidence going into lap two was really low, but I knew one thing. If I can get to that final descent, I can win this race. But every few hundred meters, I kept on losing this man's wheel, but coming back afterwards. Now, on to the final hill. Let's go.
You ain't losing me, brother. You ain't losing me. 800 meters. I'm in his wheel. I need to stay there. Fucking rest. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so dead. <sighs> With all the training I've done in the last few months, I knew I should have been competitive for these races this month, and to be able to pull it off on the second race I do is just fucking fantastic. I'm so happy. The real question is can I do this? with a larger peloton. That's something I'd like to find out. But one thing is certain, today we celebrate. <laughs> I'm so fucking proud of myself. That race was an amazing experience because like, I suffered a lot all the way throughout this race, but to be able to win it in a sprint, in such a perfect sprint as well, because I just had a bit of a gap off his wheel with 200 meters to go, I went into his draft, I sprinted past him, I passed him with 30 meters to go, that is perfection. I didn't panic, I stayed cool, and I finished it off. I'm really, really happy. But I have to be real with you. I'm winning the sprinting category D, the lowest category. I can't compete on any hilly terrain, only in the pure sprint stages. I won the sprint against one guy from a peloton that was basically four riders at the start, to at the finish line. Simply said, this is not the most impressive win, but hey, a win is a win. Now that I won a race, do I feel like I'm ready to move up to category C? I don't think I'm ready yet. That is my aim though, and I'll make myself a rule. The second that I win three races in category D in a row, I will move up to category C. Taking a look at the numbers in the race, this wasn't necessarily my best performance, but the numbers were good. My 30 minute power was my third best ever. This was also the first time that I still had a 780 watt sprint in me after a race, which is an absolute weapon on Zwift. In my next video, I'll take on my first ever major climb, so I can't wait to show you guys. But for now, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.